Welcome back to P2 Aero and the Turbo Yamaha S21 build. I know it's been a bit, and well to be honest, I'm still not to a point where I wanted to be to release another video, but here goes nothing. Just understand that it's still a work in progress, and not even I know how I'm going to move forward with some of the details. With that said, I don't intend on any of this to be instructional content in any way. I'm a novice at best when it comes to composite work, so this is just a representation of how I am going about building a cow from scratch. I understand it's far from traditional aviation cowling theory, so just bear with me and hang on for the ride, and we'll all get to see if this was worth the effort or not. I needed to add a bit of structure to the inside of that upper cowl, and I had something in mind similar to a car hood looks on the underside. While playing with ideas, I decided that a hex pattern would look pretty neat, and off I went. I cut some concrete backer rod in half, and that would serve as my form for the carbon layup over the top. It's a closed cell foam, so I knew it wouldn't soak up excess resin and end up adding a bunch of unwanted weight. The added stiffness comes from the shape of the carbon, and not the foam itself, so really you can use whatever you'd like. That's just what I came up with. When I got the first side done, I was stunned at how effective this approach was in stiffening up the structure and only gaining a minimal amount of weight, all while looking pretty unique and, in my opinion, pretty darn cool. As you can imagine, my approach is somewhat amateur, as I'm sure that there's many better ways to get to the same end result, but everything I could think of would introduce some kind of unwanted shape changes, and I needed that hex pattern to cure with the cowl in its natural lie and not be influenced by some means of clamping or vacuum bagging. I found myself wondering if twill weave might be better suited for something like this, since it would conform a little better to the compound features of my pattern of choice. Now I know everyone's favorite thing is sped up footage, but I felt like someone out there might benefit from the added context, leaving every step in there adds. I'll jump back in here in a bit when I get to the next item worthy of some narration.
I really wanted to get it all sanded smooth, but I'm not going to make it that far this week, so what you see here is what you get for now. The only difference in the right and left sides here is a buttload of sanding, but you get the picture. In the end, it achieves the goal that I wanted, and I think when I get it all done and smooth, I'll be glad that I went for it. I didn't worry too much about making sure that all my cuts were clean and precise, so yeah, you can see all that, but let's just say that adds to the character and handmade aspect of this whole thing. I can just see me sitting at Air Venture with this plane, and knowing that even though there's a crap ton of other awesome builds here, nobody has a cowl just like this one. And that thought fuels the effort to continue. Off camera, I've been working on the pressure plenum a bit. I've alluded to this in previous videos. But the master plan is to feed the coolers on both sides with diverging pressure plenums that Y into this single scoop up front. I started the same way that I do any composite project, and that's to build it with foam first. I got this one all located and in place and rough shaped, enough to foam it in place. Once off the plane, I could do my layups on this section. I knew that access would be a challenge, so I chose to do it in sections allowing me to have room to shape and smooth inside both ends of the duct. I also made provisions for the radiator fan that hides inside this duct just for those real hot days or extended taxis or holding at the end of a runway. Similarly to the hex structure on the upper, this foam will be fully encapsulated in the carbon so there's no getting it out. Kind of like a modern day supercar frame if you will. With the vision slowly coming to light, I can't wait to keep going as I inch closer to having a completed airplane soon. If you would have approached this in another way, I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. I appreciate everyone joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you on the next update real soon.